Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Hey guys, today we are reviewing the Razer Blade Stealth. And really, this is the first laptop we've really taken a hard look at and wanted to see what the pros and cons of it is. And honestly, this is one of the best pieces of electronics I've used. In terms of a laptop, this is pretty much one of the best builds, if not the best build at least I've ever tried. And it's really great. It's extremely lightweight, uh, very easy to take around, really powerful. This version specifically has an i7 processor, 16 gigs of RAM, 4K display. And for what I was using it for, I was using it for like video editing, photo editing. I went out to a business trip, used it for all my needs over there, which is mainly typing up meeting notes. And it did last almost 10 hours with that. So even a little bit longer than it said, it's supposed to last nine hours, it lasted almost 10 hours, not of using it the entire time, but I, you know, I would take 15 minute breaks, 15, uh, probably about an hour lunch. So overall, yeah, it would be around the nine hour mark, but really great uh, battery life with this. And I get why people pay more money for the battery life with this. Now, in terms of being able to do my videos that I like to do, I'm really able to find that I can do all of that with this kind of hardware. It doesn't lag at all, even though I have Premiere up right now, I have Photoshop up, and of course, I also have web browsing with a bunch of different tabs up right away. Now, I was able to play some few light games on here. Uh, and when I mean light games, I mean like Devil May Cry and stuff like that, Devil May Cry 4, by the way, uh, on Steam. So I was able to have that on there, uh, for those of you wondering. For gaming, it's gonna be good. It does have an Intel processor on here, so it's not gonna be the best overall for gaming, but still really good. And this display is obviously just perfect. So what are the cons about it, if any? Well. I really don't have too much to complain about, to be honest. In terms of pricing, this one would fall in at $1449. This is a 4K display version, 16 gigs of RAM, 512 solid state storage, which if you're getting anything, get solid state. It is the best out there. And this is the first positive experience I had with the M2 solid state uh, chip in there, which is going to definitely be better off uh, in the long run. I had an M2 chip on my desktop, didn't work out well, so I'm glad to see it had no issues with it here. With this overall, I will say that the top of it gets some fingerprints and some smudges on it. Again, I'm using this as a daily driver, so I saw that a lot. In terms of having the ability to have a headphone jack and a Type-C and two USBs is really nice, not to mention a full HDMI. So you really get all those features to have the ability with that really nice, just to have everything full size. You don't have to worry about getting a bunch of dongles. Sorry for you Apple users. So that being said, this really does give a much better alternative. If you are looking for a top of the line PC that would rival a Mac Pro or other things such as that, or really looking for just one of the best PCs out there, I would really now get this over a Surface, I would say. I've had a Surface Pro 3 for uh, two years, I believe almost now, and really with this, it is in a league of its own. It's well worth the upgraded price. Um, I personally might get the 2K display uh, for the things that I need. I don't need the 4K display, so I would get the QHD model myself but then I would want the more storage, so I would go back and forth on that. Overall, with this device, it's definitely something you should take a look at. Again, this is the Razer Blade Stealth, and if you want the top of the line on PC, I would recommend this over a lot. I know there's XPSs out there, I know there's Alienware, I know there's HP Elite, I know there's a lot of these different products, but Razer knows quality, and I've used HPs in the past, I've used Dells in the past, I've never been as happy as I have been with this, using it on a day-to-day -day basis. It's something that I have definitely grown to like and might have to customize my own now. All right, guys, thank you as always for watching this laptop review. Let me know what are your thoughts on an, a laptop and what you would like to see coming out of future laptop reviews, as well as what laptops would you like us to try and review 
and see how it compares to this one. All right, thank you as always for watching. Make sure to give that like thumbs up down below. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy.